hello everyone it's me a summary of welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the editing process of the outdoor portrait and the this type of close outdoor portrait editing what i have done here actually so here i just uh, retouch the face manually and then i use a dodge burning process and after that i enhance the lips color and then i use a preset which i made it for you guys earlier and use the that is the nick collection or nick preset and then levels and just made it like that so before one was like that the spot in a face and other stuffs uh, colors are not corrected and here you are getting a smooth or polished image if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications let's start the tutorial i am turning off this one and closing it and go to the file and open up actually this image credit goes to johnny brothers he is the he is photographer of this photograph and uh, he provided me this photo for editing and big thanks to him for these photographs at first press ctrl j for the copy of this layer and after that i'll just do color correction of the photo so what i have done press ctrl g again and give the name at first blur and right press and make it convert to smart object and this one will be high pass so right press and convert to smart object and turning off the high pass layer select the blur layer and i'll make this one blur go to the filter go to the blur and gaussian blur and make the blur value that is 24 pixel or you can match it out with your photographs and hit the ok button after that turn on the high pass options and just go to the filter and other and high pass so high pass value will be 3.5 or 3 around like that it will be perfect for this one and hit ok after that go to the blending mode and make it hard light the high pass value and select these two things make it group and give the name skin so i'll mask it out and make it inverse mask by pressing ctrl or command i and then go to the brush tool here the brush and make it a little bit bigger and now brush it out so don't brush the edges otherwise it will spoil the quality of your photographs and so do that and when you're doing that be careful and take your time So after making the smooth skin, I'll apply the lights that is the like a dodge and burn process. But I'll apply only one thing. I will apply the lights only. So press Ctrl J this one and select these two things, make it group. Actually make it group and skin and take a screenshot. After that, press Ctrl J again and this one is main 2 and this one is light so I'll make the blending mode into screen right press and blending options from here here is underlining layer and I'll find out the highlighted area of the face that's good and press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the light with the face it will be more smooth lightings so you can blend it out and it will be more precisely lightening so after that group it and give the name light so here i use a light this one is the skin smoothing and this one is the main photo so after that i will make another screenshot of this so then i will apply the preset and press ctrl j go to the filter and camera filter i made a preset for you guys and i'll give you that preset downloading in my video description you can just enjoy or you can use that preset free of cost here is small menu go to the load settings options and i made that preset for you that is the floral and open it up yeah that's nice 
and let's see the settings of the preset here the exposure 0 0.05 and the contrast plus 11 and highlights minus 27 and shadow plus 25 white plus 13 black minus 26 minus 10 variance and the saturation minus 15 here is the temperature that is plus 3 and tint minus 8 here the points that is the tone curve uh, rgb points i just made the curve like that and blue tone curve i didn't used green and red i didn't touch that and now sharpening of amount 58 and luminance of noise reduction 15 and the shadow highlighting that is the hsl panel and hue saturation and luminance actually here is the red that is the hue 54 orange that is plus 2 and then 59 and green 0 aqua 0 and blue i made it minus 36 for the aqua color and the saturation 42 of the red orange for plus 4 yellow minus 38 minus 118 and luminance minus 33 minus 63 okay that's fine and the split toning what is the split toning uh, split toning is that thing where the shadow color will be and where the light color will be so i use the highlight color that is 77 that is the value of the color and the saturation 13 and hue of the shadow that is 255 that is the value of the color which color you are using that is the value and the saturation 9 no lens correction issue and the effects i made it minus 13 amount of vignetting here and uh, now camera calibration this one is the most important thing of the color correction so here is three primary color red green and blue primary red color i made it minus 2 green primary color and that is the hue minus 15 or 53 actually and blue primary color minus 31 and hit okay so you're getting like polished warm and the moody whatever you can tell so before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so you can just lift it like that or you can apply another preset or another filters which is from the nick collection go to the filter nick collection and color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins of the photoshop you can use it out and here are lots of presets actually filters bunch of filters different types of filters you can use from here and here c04 i'm using here uh, here is the cross processing and lots of method over here and c04 i used he here and strength i made it like that 13 and hit okay so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output and uh, most of the important thing of these plugins is that this loading time depends on your pc configuration so if your pc configuration is high you can use it smoothly otherwise you it will be slow here is the, the adjustment layer and go to the levels options and adjust the level like that and this one will be amazing yeah before one was like that and after one you're getting totally dramatic moody colored effects so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you want download link of the resource file actually the presets please check out my video description and other plugins and download link as well so don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications until the next video i am as signing out today bye bye